Life is everywhere with Yildiz Home. Yildiz Home offers details that add mastery to laminate flooring installation. By downloading the Yildiz Entegre application to your phone, you can determine the most suitable laminate flooring model for your room to have your dream decoration. You can instantly find out how much material is needed by drawing the exact shape of your room in the You Design It section. Make sure the floor is clean, dry and level before starting the installation. Straighten uneven areas and clean foreign substances such as stones or dust. Let the laminate flooring sit in the application area for at least 48 hours, with the stacked layers perpendicular to each other. During this time, packages should not stand against the wall and should not be exposed to sunlight. In the waiting process, if you leave a gap on the packaging of laminate flooring, the process of adapting to the air and humidity values of the surrounding area will be accelerated. The installation area must have a temperature of 15 to 30 degrees centigrade and a relative humidity of 40 to 70 percent. Measure the humidity of the environment on the floor to ensure the appropriate conditions are met. In ground heated environments, heating should be provided with water. A homogeneous heating should be provided on the ground and the heat should not be uneven in different areas. Ideal surface temperature is 25 degrees centigrade. This value should not exceed 28 degrees centigrade. Check the floor elevation difference with the help of a panel. The difference should not be more than 2 mm. Lay a 2 to 3 mm thick polyurethane foil or underlay to the floor before installation. This process will provide maximum protection against the negative effects of the ground. After covering the floor of the mattress, place the pieces on top of each other about 10 cm and paste them with the packaging tape and your room is ready for installation. Check the laminate floorings for problems such as breakage, cracks, stains or colour difference. Please let us know immediately in case you experience any issues during these procedures. Another point to consider is the production batch numbers. It is not recommended to install flooring in the same environment that do not have the same batch number on the packages. Hint: Laying the laminate floorings in parallel under daylight will allow you to achieve maximum visual quality. After you measure your room, you can find out the width of the last row by dividing the width of your room by the width of the laminate floorings. So you can cut the first and last row equally prevent the last row from appearing too narrow and get a more aesthetic look. Regularly placing the floorings in the installation area according to the tongue and groove lock directions will increase your installation speed. Firstly, place wedges on the wall edges in order to leave the expansion gap. Start the installation with the male edges of the laminate flooring facing the wall. Place the second laminate flooring of the first row from the short edge at the level of the first laminate flooring and continue with the same operation until the end. To accommodate the last laminate flooring, measure the remaining distance with the wall by taking into account the expansion space with the reverse surface of the laminate flooring and shorten the length of the laminate flooring. You can use circular saw or hand saw for cutting. We recommend that you do this elsewhere in order to keep the assembly area clean. After placing the cut part, complete the assembly of the first row. One of the biggest mistakes is to make transactions that restrict the movement of the laminate floorings. Laminate floorings should not be fixed or glued to any point. Before you move to the second row, place the lifting wedges. Start the installation of the second row with the short laminate flooring remaining from the previous stage. Place the second laminate flooring at a 20 to 45 degree angle on the short female edge of the previous piece. Then slide it towards the long female edge of the first row. Continue the same process throughout the entire sequence. To ensure full locking, pull the lifting wedges under the laminate floorings and push the laminate floorings down to ensure that it fits on the floor. Cut the appropriate size laminate flooring on the empty parts of the column edges. Place the remaining piece. Then continue the assembly of the other rows. 
do not use iron hammer or tools that may damage the laminate flooring when assembling our parquet flooring that has practical lock feature. When it comes to heating pipe, measure the diameter of the pipe and determine the area to cut. After cutting, place it around the pipe with the remaining piece. Any obstacle you encounter is in the V columns. After marking the long edge and short edge by leaning the laminate flooring against the wall, proceed to cutting and place the piece. When you get to the last row, take the measure of the space left empty and cut and place the laminate floorings according to this measure. In the installation where the door is located, shorten the door trim instead of cutting the flooring and clean the remains. Finally, remove the expansion wedges and start mounting the skirting boards. First, measure the angle of 45 degrees at the corners of the skirting boards and cut the skirting boards. Then fix the skirting boards to the wall with a nail. Fixing the skirting boards to the laminate flooring is wrong. This restricts the movement of the laminate flooring and creates problems. Just secure skirting boards to the wall. Since you have successfully completed the installation process after the installation of the skirting boards. Enjoy! Adding value to your living space will yield us home. Life is everywhere with Yilda's home. 